It's time to react. What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, YouTube? Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Brad Steele channel. Still reactions, yatta is where it's happening. Thank you guys for joining me on the Bradical bandwagon today for another reaction video. So here's the deal with this. We're about to have church in here. This is Clark Beckham, who I am a huge fan of, featuring Yeba. Whom I am a huge fan of. I'm a big of. fan of Yeba too. Doing Gravity by John Mayer. Big fan of the song and John Mayer. So this is just gonna be great all together. It's about to get good up in here. But before I get to that, I wanted to, uh, say to you that you can help me get to my goal, not my only goal, but my next goal of 50,000 subs here on YouTube. If you would uh, help me out, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you would take one second out of your day, click the red button and subscribe, and then you're on the Bradical bandwagon for life, brother. I would appreciate that very much, as well as uh, go check out some of my covers and original music. Uh, we've done covers of I Want to Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston and Memories by Maroon 5, and then I've done uh, Tennessee Whiskey and uh, medley of stuff like Phil Collins and the Beatles. Please go check that out. And then my original music, uh, songs about depression, about my faith, songs by my family, The Steels, uh, all that kind of good stuff. Link to some of it at the end of the video. Wish you'd check it out. Clark Beckham featuring Yeba, Gravity by John Mayer. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Hitting play right now. Do you know much about Clark Beckham? Mm -hmm. I've never featured Clark Beckham here on the channel. He is like one of my favorite singers. His voice like moves like butter. He's incredible. I love the rasp. Yes. In his voice. So yes. Nice. He was a runner up on American Idol years ago. Dude can flat out sing, and I'm sure you will continue to hear that throughout this. Let's keep going. Dream of ways. Throw it all. It's been working, working against me This girl's ridiculous. She is. She wow. is. I mean, like you could make a case. I know it depends on what your taste is, what you're into. You can make a case like one of the best voices out there right now. The way that she just like can hit those. What, are they runs? Or the are they runs, riffs, whatever you want to call them. She does it better than anybody else. I like, just, and then like ooh, when she came in with that first. Ooh, I was just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh, I got the shakes over here. She just, I, it seems so effortless, but like you can see the passion yeah. in her face when she sings, and you can hear it in her voice. That's why her song "Evergreen" was my top played song last year on Spotify because I was just playing it over and over again, just listening to every little piece of that song and her voice. It's just, I mean, and and her and Clark, like their voices mend so yeah. well together. Yeah, with, between like the rasp and then like. Mm -hmm. Kind of the tones of the their soul. voice. Yes. Yes. Oh. And not to mention, I just want to throw this in there, Clark Beckham, some of the stuff he's doing on the piano is ridiculous. Okay, let's keep going. Like one half 
I was going to pause because it's only they're gearing back up for a little more, but uh, it's still grooving. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where to begin. The range of Clark Beckham to be able to hit that note, <laughs> like, dude, hit that full voice, and of course. As I just said, I, I can't say much more about Yeba than I already have. Yeah. She just, she's one of the best in the world, honestly. And I love the, the vibrato in her voice. And I've yep. spoken about this before, but, like, it's that long vibrato that yep. just gets me. And I want to be able to sing like that. Yes. They're singing this song in such a way that it feels like nobody should ever sing it again after they get done singing right. it. Right. So. That's how I feel about it. Um, I sound like every time I hear her sing... I feel like I'm in like a, a, like a, what is it, that uh, poetry night. We're doing slam poetry, but she just got up there and sang. We're like, okay, okay, so we ain't doing poetry now. The night is over. Let's all go home. We're singing it now. And then his song, like his voice sounds like that old style. Yep. And I, ooh, they just so, so good together. Perfect. Let's keep it going. Clark Beckham. Uh, we'll talk about Yeba too, because oh my god, Yeba Deba do. But Clark, <laughs> Clark Beckham is better than anybody else. At, he's better than anybody else at a lot of things vocally. But that run right there, I call it like walking down the stairs. Da, 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 da. Well, he he does That's that. Like so hard. He to does do. that better than anybody else. He just did it twice in a row, just in passing. And it's like I'm going to use a very. He didn't even gear up for it. I'm going to use a very gross word here. He hits every crevice of da, da, da. he hits every single crevice. Like he's walking down the stairs and he steps on every step going down. He, and he means to hit yes. every step. Like he's, he just goes perfectly he down. Means it. And yeah, but uh, yeah, but yeah, but do her too. She, she, she like literally, she don't miss. Mm-mm. Then, then he, the light is shining bright. He did it again. And it's not like. Yeah, like, there's a lot of people that can do a run like that, and it sounds good. But like his is effortless and perfect. Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't hear one mess. I didn't hear one, one, one pause, one stutter. Didn't hear one missed step, beat, whatever you want to say. I need a hug. Even, I need a hug. I didn't bring it in. I need that. I need that. I need to hold somebody. Oh. All right. Let's keep. If I can even stand it, let's keep going.
So I've decided after listening to that, I'm never going to sing again. Ever. Ever. You know, in movies, when the, the you know, have the rising action, then you have the climax. Not movies, but stories in general. You have the rising action. Conflict. The, the climax where everything just comes to a head. And then the falling action. It's like the last five minutes of the movie where it's just showing you how everything the ended up. Yes. Again. That last minute or so, 30 seconds, where they were just... Mm, I feel like I just went on a mile long... That, the, the humming there at the end, that was the falling action. Like, the climax was that whole section where they were like, ah! and then, and then, and then, and all that. Yeah, when all that was going on. And then they had to, they, they had to give everybody like a 30 to 45 second window of just them humming to give everybody time to it's calm like down. And I needed it. I I'm needed not, that for time. For all my runners out there, that's like we just went and did a 5K. And we started off kind of slow because you don't want to give all your energy out there at the beginning. And then you, and you get kind of close to that heel. You get to that last heel before the end of it, and you're just sprinting because you're like, it's almost done, it's almost over with. And then you you get you get into the last bit, and so you get to the finish line, and you just kind of have to keep kind of running a little bit because you just ran like a, a lot. And so you got to cool down a little bit so you don't just stop cold turkey. You got to give your time, your muscles a little bit of time to kind of cool down. While you're still moving around, you know, ever again. Thank you guys for joining us today on the Bradical Bandwagon. You guys are the best. Don't forget, you can help me get to 50K. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my channel, please click the red button and subscribe. You can help me get to my goal. And uh, don't forget to check out some of my covers and original music, some of which are on your screen right now. Thank you guys. Take it in. Soak it up. Bye, everybody. Yeah. That's good. That was pretty good.